Well, summer temperatures are hanging on this next week, but for those ready for fall, there are plenty of attractions across western New York for you, including Pumpkinville in Cattaraugus County, which is opening up this weekend. Lauren Hall explains how their famous maze has ties to Channel 2 this year. It is the first unofficial weekend of fall, and if you just cannot go on until you visit a pumpkin patch, maybe sip on some apple cider, well, you're in luck because Pumpkinville opens for the season tomorrow. The pumpkins are in place, the apples are peeled for pie, and the lambs and goats are ready to go at the petting zoo. <coughs> now all Pumpkinville needs is the people. It takes on a whole show of its own. It is a fun, fun time, you know, and you see families out here and neighbors. This year, you can get lost in the two on your side corn maze. The five acre maze in the shape of our station logo started as 300 pounds of corn seed back in the spring. I plant this about the middle of May. Uh, and we plant it uh, on very narrow rows and then we crisscross them. Un unlike most cornfields, it's just a straight row down. Well, when we plant this, and, and I personally am the guy, uh, we plant it both ways. So it's checkerboard uh, and it makes it thicker and heavier. And this is gorgeous corn. That July rain really, it was tough on pumpkins, but it really helped the corn. Owner Dan Palowski says a company from Utah came to carve the design in the corn when it was just about 8 to 10 inches tall. It always amazes me how they do this. I always think, oh yeah, right, it really looks that way. Son of a gun, it does. <laughs> and uh, uh, they do a great job. Also new this year, Pumpkinville has a liquor license. They added a new beer garden to the property. Uh, the Sugartown Beer Garden, which has got uh, craft beers from uh, Ellicottville Brewing and uh, wine and hard cider. They made a custom hard cider for us at the Ellicottville Winery. So we're trying to keep with our local people right here in town. No capacity restrictions this year, but you do need a ticket to access the area with the zoo, rides, games, and maze. You can get them in advance online. Pumpkinville is open seven days a week from 9 until 7 from tomorrow all the way until Halloween. You can find more details and information on our website, WGRZ.com. For now, I'm Lauren Hall reporting in Great Valley. Back to you.